And here's the truth. People are never just one person. It's not that simple. So, are you going to be there? Uh, there. And Martin just said a picture of you taking a picture of that. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> It's been like a never-ending grief, um, which is like a never-ending anger, actually. I don't really know what happened, and I don't really understand what happened. All I really know is that now I've caused his grief, and I hope that won't be never-ending anger. I expect it will just be never-ending sadness. But the advantage for you is in your forgetting. Forgetting us. Forgetting all the expectations of what we plan to do. All the dreams. All the dreams we had together. All the plans we were going to make. Plans for the garden. Plans for a house. Plans for a baby. You're forgetting us. All of the expectations that we had. All of the plans we made. And all of our dreams. You've forgotten them. You're able to. 
and now I'm not able to remember them. Not like I did. Sitting, smiling to myself with those thoughts and those memories. In her last days, I know she wanted to go. She said, I'm bored now. I can't do this anymore. So I knew it was time to speak to the doctor. I wanted to say goodbye, but I couldn't. Because she didn't say she was going. She just said she was bored. As a child, I had a sense of loss. But mainly it was my mother's loss. She'd been left and she was alone. I looked at them both. And I felt overwhelmed with love and tenderness. I adored her. And I felt so proud. So now I can't have the life I thought I would have. I can't have the things I thought I would have. And I can't be the person I thought I was going to be. I have different dreams. You're a coward. And you have wrecked my life. By your leaving, I wish I could die. But I won't die. I won't stop breathing. I have him. And he is all I will live for. And here's the truth. People are never just one person. It's not that simple.